2013 has rolled around, and we're seeing a lot of these diet things on TV, like Weight Watchers, etc. And we're hearing about people getting to the gym and burning calories, so we want to talk a little bit about calories today. So, uh, first thing I want to state is, you know, these calories in, calories out diets may work for some people who are obese. If you're not obese and you're average to more fit than average, this is not the way that you're going to have to go because calories that you take in cause a hormonal response. Now, this hormonal response can make you either gain weight or lose weight. When I say weight, I mean fat. Also, I'm seeing people go in the gym and rev it up, rev it up, rev it up, and they sweat and they sweat, and all of a sudden they're like, oh, and they show the picture of their, their wristwatch polar thing and says, oh, I burned 1,100 calories. It's such, such a great workout. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. For some reason, people think that the more calories you burn in the gym, that you get leaner. That's not what happens, okay? You need to stimulate your metabolism over a 24-hour period to get leaner. So now you may burn more calories at that point, but if you're revving your body up to burning 1,100 calories, you think that your body can actually use that out of fat and can break it down that fast and use it? No. What happens is your cortisol levels go up and it stops burning fat. You may sweat, you may be hot, and you may be tired, but that doesn't mean you had a good workout. For some reason, people are under the impression if they're breathing heavy and they sweated and they're tired, they had a good workout, but they're training hard, not smart. It's two different things. So back to the diet thing. Now, it's calories in, calories out thing has been a debate for a long time. And I think that a lot of trainers and doctors just don't understand the hormonal response to food. So they go the calories in, calories out. So, you know, if you're, let's say you take in 4,000 calories, you cut to 2,000 calories. Now, these diets say that you should be able to eat anything that you want and still lose fat. If you're obese, that's true. If you're an average to above average fit person, that's not true because the hormonal response to food is going to change that. So if you're on that 2,000 calories and you're obese, you can pretty much eat you know, some cake, some burgers, whatever, and you're going to lose weight. But if you're that already fit person trying to get to the next level, it doesn't work that way. Your insulin is going to go up and you're going to store fat. It's like saying, well, as long as I hit my macros, I need 2,000 calories a day, I can get 2,000 calories a day from pixie sticks. Do you think that if you took 2,000 calories a day from Pixie Sticks and another person right next to you took 2,000 calories a day in complex carbohydrates, good fats, and proteins, do you think you're going to have the same physique after 10 weeks? No, you're going to be fatter than that person because you're eating all kinds of sugar. It's not just because it's a calorie is a calorie. And just because you burn enough calories doesn't mean that you're going to lose weight either. Okay? The, the calories in, calories out again. Now, if... You are in the gym for one hour a day, but you are sitting down on your butt for, you know, 10 hours a day, and then you're sleeping for eight hours a day. Do you really think anything you're going to do in that hour is going to be good enough to drop the fat? No. It's 24-hour metabolism that gets you fit and in shape. So how do you do that? It's not calories in, calories out. It's making sure you get the right foods, right foods at the right times, and consistency, okay? Nobody's going to the gym burning 1,100 calories on the stair mill seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And nobody's restricting their foods 2,000 calories less than what they were eating before seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's not happening that way. That's not sustainable. You need to understand that you need to turn your body into the machine that it is and get it working the way it's supposed to Instead of trying to trick it by reducing calories, by eating whatever you want with those reduced calories, and trying to go and burn it off in the gym. I haven't seen anybody in 20 years that's had long-term success with that. But the problem is, it's a lot easier than paying attention to your diet, eating the right foods, which nobody really wants. I mean, chicken breast compared to a burger? Nobody wants the chicken breast, they want the burger. So, just be aware of these diets that are out there. Eat what you want and still lose the weight. Or, you know, there was a new one that was like 360, 510, whatever it was. You know, eat like the body was meant to eat. It's not what these things are. They're gimmicks. They're gimmicks to take your money and they're ultimately setting you up to fail. Again, unless you're obese, then you're going to be fine. If you're obese, start with these things because a regular like competition diet or a diet for somebody who's doing P90X or something like that will be too hard. It's going to be too much of a reduction. You're not going to be able to stick to it. So 2013, fitness, calories in, calories out. And calories not all the same. And remember, you go to the gym and train smart. Train hard, but train smart too.